Hello, Bobby Connors, and welcome to What Do You Do When You Discover a New Piece in Your Basement? So, this year I think I started doing some spring shopping at One of a Kind in April. Nope, nope, before that with my best friend Michelle Cosman. We did a little shopping and I don't know, I might have bought I'm embarrassed to say. Well, I'm not going to be embarrassed about anything. I'm just going to tell you what happened. Uh, maybe three tops and a dress. And a season, whatever. Cute, totally cute. And then I did a little shopping at one of a kind, two pair of black pants. Um, and then I can't remember what else. Oh, Oh, then I went to um, Lulu Bell and Homewood and felt compelled to get two dresses. I think I've worn them both on live, so you've seen those. But it ends up being one of those scenes where I'm like, oh, I just have to have this darling black linen dress. And I went back down into the basement and I already have a black linen dress. Of course, this one is different than that one. Whatever, you know how this whole thing goes. But I went into the basement because I switch wardrobes out like you might if you don't have a, enough closet room. And I discovered all these adorable clothes that I haven't worn in a year or two years. I didn't bring them up. Anyway, um, that poses some problems. So one of the tops is the one I have on now. And I don't often wear patterns. Um, but I do remember buying this top and I thought it was a really pretty shade of blue and it had taupe and it had white and I thought it was light and summery and it sort of has this border around the uh, cuff and uh, around the, the hip and um, I remember loving it though usually I don't wear a scoop neck I try to wear a v-neck anyway here it is and I vowed to myself you will wear something you haven't not new but something you haven't every time you go out now i don't know that i mean the grocery store but i mean you know like we're going out to dinner and so that's what i'm wearing this top okay but i don't usually wear it i think i bought it like three or four years ago so here's what i'm asking you what necklace do you like best do you like now, I haven't tried these on, so they all could look, um, they all might not be right, but we have to pick the best one. Do you like necklace number one? Uh-oh. How do they do this on, like, the home shopping things? Okay. I'm feeling pressure, I got nervous. Necklace number one, I like that the circles are consistent with the little circles in my top. And it's a neutral, it's silver. Necklace number one. Necklace number two. Oh, that's cute. Of course, I really like necklace number one as well. Necklace number two, okay. That's real cute and it's super comfortable. Necklace number three. Oh, goes the other way. That's really little for me. I don't usually, well, that's sweet. Okay, necklace, hmm, necklace number three, Moonstone and Swarovski Crystal. Okay, so like, right now I like all three. Hmm, okay, or, necklace number four. I'm gonna make it shorter than Maybe not that short. And so here's another thing. Well, I won't go off topic just yet.
necklace number four. Okay. Four necklace number four. Now, if you're just tuning in, and I see some of you are, you can't vote till you go back and see this thing from the beginning, because this is necklace number four. Hey, Linda, happy Memorial Day. Love those two puppies that you ferried. Oh my God, you guys. Linda Allard, my friend who's just joined me live, is a dog rescue rescuer. And maybe she'll put in um, the website where you can learn about how you can rescue. In any event, um, she has her own rescue, but today or yesterday, uh, ferried two, uh, transported two puppies to foster homes. And Linda, who has so much to do with her own uh, jewelry business and a variety of things, still finds time to take hours out of her day to take dogs uh, for rescue and survival. Um, in any event, oh, number one, says somebody. Number one, okay. Uh, K Kids Rescue is the dog rescue. And, oh, we got a lot going on. So, um, the message, uh, I get off topic, of course, because I was just remembering her puppies and how we can all do just a little something, even if we can't, you know, do a lot or give a lot of money um, to dog rescue. In any event, back to me and my jewelry. Um, how about you? Like, have you gone and looked through the clothes you haven't worn? I say, let's get them on ya. Let's get them styled and um, resurrect the old pieces. Why the heck did I buy all those new clothes when I could give in everything I have just a little new zhuzh with some jewelry? So vote on the pieces in the earlier part of this video and tell me please which one to wear in the meantime, keep it funky, chunky, and fabulously hip at bobbycondesign.com, and we'll be back with you again soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.